This is Bishop. Bend down a little bit, Bishop. Hi. This is what you call grandparent winning at grandparenting, right? Yes. Okay, today we're going to do what size painting? What size? 16 by 20. Okay. And we're going to take these thumbtacks. All right. Are we going to like nail them? We're going to put them in here because that gives them a little bit of elevation off the table. Oh, uh, okay. So we're going to put four of them in like this. And my thumbs aren't as strong as they used to be, so guess what we got? A hammer. Now the other side, what kind of painting do we want to do? I think we do a bottle pour. You've never done one of those, no, right? No, I've never done a bottle, a bottle pour, pour. Okay. <clears throat> okay, next thing we're going to do, take that spray bottle there, and we're going to spray the back of this canvas down. What is that? Uh, how to do. That tightens up the canvas really good. So as it dries, spray a little bit more in the middle. There you go. It's going to make that, no, not on the top. It's going to make it sound like a drum. That's what you want. Good and tight. All right. All right. We're going to put that there. You said you wanted some rose gold? Yeah, rose gold. We're going to use the, what is that, Molten Metals by Chroma? Yes. Rojo Gold. Got this much Floetrol in the cup. Let's put some Rojo Gold in there. And there. That's about... That's about two thirds flow trawl. Yeah. One third paint and mix it up. All right. Oh man, that gives it like a nice color colorway. Oh yeah, rose gold is nice. Looks like like strawberry cheesecake sort of. It gives it like a strawberry cheesecake type of color. Now you're making me hungry. Stop that. Okay. Now I'm when you're mixing this. Pop it back and forth like that. It oh, mixes okay. the paint in better. If you'll do that and just do it about that speed for a little bit, I'll get everything else ready. Yep, I got some on my... Oh, it's such a strawberry Picked cheesecake. Up. Don't eat it. I mean, yeah, it, it's strawberry cheesecake, so, I mean, you gotta eat it. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's good. Let great. me take a look at it there. What you want? Oh, they're still on my thumb. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. See how that runs right off of there? Yeah. That's pretty close. I'm gonna add just a touch of, of distilled water. Now, instead of going side to side, do it like this for just a little bit. Okay. That hard work? No, not really. I mean, I could do this all day. I like to. Stir. Don't tell me that. I'll put you to work. Oh, I mean, I like I like stirring strawberry cheesecake paint all day. Okay, that's looking good. When can we eat it? <laughs> I'm getting hungry. All right. There we have the rose gold. Yep. Looking good. That's just the right texture that we yeah. need for what we're going to do. All right, we're going right. to put it to the side. Now, <laughs> do we want it on a black background or a white background? What's your what's your preference? Uh, black uh, black background. Okay. So what we're going to do now then? I've got to arrange this so that we get the painting in. It's not going to have your awesome face in it anymore, but we'll still be able to hear you, okay? All right. All right. So we're going to take some black and spread it around like this. And then what I need you to do is take this stick and just kind of spread it out like that. Right. This all the way around. Get all the way to the sides and then corner there. Hold your yeah. stick a little bit flatter. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Get it all through up in here. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, we've got the black all spread around. This is what we're using. It's the bo it's the uh, bottom of an artist loft paint bottle. Okay. If you look like this here. Yeah, I think I know how to make it. See, one of we those. cut that out of the bottom and glued the top on here and put some holes in it. Now, I put eight holes, but we're only using four, two on each side. Okay. We're going to put that here. And now, what we need to do is let's put some white in that bottle. Okay. Just uh, spray it down in there right at the center and it'll spread itself out. You're going to need quite a bit, so squeeze it hard. There you go. That's good. That's good. All right. There we go. Let's follow that up with black, not near as much. Give it just a second and, and you want to squares a little bit here and a little bit there. A little bit more. Okay, that's good. Now let's uh I'm gonna we're gonna put some rose gold in here like so oh, yeah. and like so and that's gonna start mixing up with it. Now right. next thing I like to do is take these bottle tops and I want it to start working one way more than the other. So All what right. we want to do is take these bottle tops and like put them here and here. And that's going to start making the paint go that way just a little bit. Okay. Gotcha. So let's put some of this pink in there, but just on this side. All right. Just on this side? Just on that side. All right. You don't need to scrape it out. Just let it roll out like that. Okay. Right, there we go. And I say let's put a little bit of aqua on top of that. What yeah. do you think? So we'll put some aqua like that. That's a really nice color, to be honest. I like it. Now let's follow that up with a little more rose gold, just right. on this side. Good. And let's go ahead and keep this out of there so we don't, so we don't drip it like that. Yeah. I mean that's going to cover up in a minute. It's not a big deal. Yeah. But let's put a little bit of red on top of that gold. All right. Oh. We got a clog. Hang on just a second. I hate it whenever that happens to me. You see how that's kind of flowing down yeah, and making some cool looking good. designs? You know, actually what we need next is some white. Why don't you put some white in there? Alright. Just on the one side. Good, good, good. There you go. And now let's put some red in there. And now what, what we're going to do, that's good, we're going to lift this up like this so that it kind of flows this direction. Now add a little bit more black right there. Good, good. And we're going to start tipping it this way to go to this corner. Man, that's beautiful. Let's put some more red in there. All right. Good, good. And then another shot of aqua. Good, good. And a little more white. A little more white. You ready? Okay, that's good, that's good. We're gonna start tipping it back the other way. I'm gonna put these over under this side. Looks kind of like, like a that. man right now. Like a mouth and a nose and a, like a curve. I know, it makes some cool designs. All right, while well, it's going that way. Looks like he has like a Donald Trump. It looks like Donald Trump. We're gonna put a little bit of aqua here on either side. Nice. And we're going to follow that up. Ooh, that's too thick. Yeah, I know. Alright, let's put some, some of the magenta. Magenta? Yeah. Pink, magenta, pretty much same thing. And throw a little black on top of that. And that's going to start working this way. This makes a nice color wave, buddy. 
and I think white is going to be the next color we need, but we're not quite there yet. Let's get this going back this way some more. Actually, I'm going to put it over here. And okay, now put some white in there. Not a lot, just a little. There you go. And then some red. Good, good. All right, let's uh, tip it more this way. slide this around where it's more like this and we're going to throw a little bit more white right there yeah, and some more aqua I just really like that color which me is, too gives it a nice colorway and then the red on top of it is good and then black on top of red is always hot oh and I didn't need to do that <laughs> And then let's throw some rose gold on top of that. Yeah, we need some more rose gold. And then more white on the rose gold. Okay, we're going to let that kind of settle out for a minute and see which way it goes. See how it's coming this way? Yeah. So what I'm going to do... I want to go towards that corner, so I'm going to take this off of this corner, let it go back, like that. Uh, it's all shrinking together. I don't want it quite that much, so we're going to put it right there, so that it, I want it to angle towards that corner. I think it needs a shot of black in there, not a lot, just a little bit of black, so why don't you do that? little more right there so you want to look at how the gravity is going towards those holes those yeah. two holes are there so you want that gravity to kind of pull it down so that's that's enough put a little bit of white on top of that oh look at that look at this right here I think that is hot all right let's throw a little red in there put it above those holes so that it goes down in there there you go. Okay, you think it needs a little higher tilt towards that corner? I think yeah. it kind of does, so we can do it like this. that. Me too. Okay. Now, now that that's there, let's let it like rest a little bit. I want it to float back the other way. So we're going to put that right there. Uh, it seem uh -oh. like it's going back. We've tipped off of there. There we yeah, go. There we all right, we got this side covered pretty well. I think we leave that as negative space over here. Yeah. I like it just being black. What do you think? Yeah, I like how it's just like, just like, just like right here. But I think maybe we should take more towards that corner. But that's up to you. What do you think? Your painting. I mean, I like it how it's just like it spreads out over here, and then it's just not right here. So I think that we should like just put more right here. But like, there's there should still be like black right here to just give okay. it more. Blackness in the black background. Okay, so what we wanted, so we want to put more color this way, right? Yes. Or not? Okay, yes? Yes, yeah. Okay, so we're going to take this out and we're going to put it over here. And what do you think? More aqua that way? Yes. All right, put some aqua in above these holes here so that it spreads that way. Good, good. Now follow that up with some red. 
And then what? Some whites? Yes. And then some black. Okay. Ooh, try not to go out of the bottle. Yeah. Now some black. Okay, I think that's good. Except we need a little bit of rose over here, don't you think? Yes. We'll put some rose right there. And now I'm going to... Oh, you're doing rose metallic. Now we're going to yeah. tip it up and go rose. more like this. Good, though. What do you think? Put some white in that bottle there. And then a little more... Just a little bit of white and then a little bit of aqua. Because I like the, the effect it makes when I've yeah. got it tipped like this. I like the aqua. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Now we'll take that on down. And start heading this way. Yeah, we do have a lot of rose gold in there, but I kind of like it. What about you? I do like it. Okay. Okay. And now we're going to just take that off of there. All right, what do you think it needs? I think it looks pretty good. I think it needs to be torched. Torch it is. I'm not ready to trust you with a torch yet. Can I trust you with a torch? Yes, you can, you can trust Okay. It. Don't burn it. Just kind of go over it like this, okay? Okay. Now don't aim it straight down. Aim it at an angle like that. There you go. And keep it moving. Don't let it sit in one area too long. That just all you're doing is taking the bubbles out of it. I like it when it's torched. You just like playing with fire. You're related to me. Ah, uh, sorta. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorta. I like to play with fire. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay, I think that's good. Now, that's how you turn it off from there. I think we need to do a splat. What I call yeah. a slapstick. Slapsticks are the best. Everybody. Okay. I'm thinking we've got a whole lot of the rose gold right here. Maybe yeah. a bit too much because it's not very spread out. So yeah. if we take my favorite to slapstick with is what's called metallic cobalt blue. But to do it correctly, you need a color on each side of it. Yeah. So. I think if we take white, then the cobalt blue, then a touch of black, or should we do a touch of copper? Copper it is. Copper it is, okay. Good call. I have some copper here somewhere. It's my favorite color. I just have to find it. And where could the copper be? Hmm, it has to be somewhere in this room. So on the slapstick, now, what I'm going to want you to do, see this stick right here? Yeah. I want you to practice. What you're going to do is you're just going to take it and go like that when I tell you to. You want it to get as flat as possible against the canvas. And it's going to be over here, and you're going to shoot it that way. You're just going to go like that. So practice that a time or two while I set us up. Are we in pause? No. Oh. That's perfect. Okay, so we're going to take, we want it here or here. Right there. Right there? Okay, we're going to take white. Oh, yeah, that's how you do it. We're going to take, you want to come over here, the cobalt blue, and we're going to top that with what's called old gold. Okay? Oh, so look pretty old. come over here, and you want it to hit right square in the middle of that. Uh, Ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we want to take the torch and pop all the bubbles in that. And that gives us kind of a cool little design right there on top of it all. It what do you think? Yeah. Gives it a more popping type of bug. All right. So. I think your painting's done. What do you think? 
I think it looks really, really nice, everybody. Okay. So what we need to do now is we want to kind of clean up these ends, which we want to take this paint. That's, we want to take some of that black paint. Well, it didn't much drip off, did there? No, not that much And you want to kind of cover that up. We may have to do this. Yeah, because... You want to cover all those edges. My fingers are black now. Well, that's okay. We have soap and water. It will wash. Yeah. Okay. So just take and spread that all along those edges. Alrighty. Don't, I mean, don't do it too hard. You just want to kind of tap it like that. Okay. If you spread it too hard, it gets too thin. But if you tap it, it covers it nice and it's good when it's dry. It looks pretty darn good. I think you have a beautiful painting. Me too. Good job. Okay. Oh. Where, where did really we nice. miss? This looks nice. Well, and when it dries, that rose gold is going to really sparkle. The chroma metallics are real good at that. So we've got a 22 minute video, so I need to shut it down. Bishop, thanks again for your help. This was fun. Yes, this was fun. Uh, subscribe and uh, like the video, everybody. Uh, thank you for all the support, and uh, we'll see you next time.